Channel 3 is your back to school authority and tonight we're focusing on the last leg of a student's time in high school, the junior and senior years. Ah, oh, those are great. Tonight Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo focuses on how things have changed for students prepping for the college applications and what is still the same. Whether you know where you're headed. I've always known that I wanted to be a pilot. Or you're still deciding. I know I want to go either a math or science direction. Junior and senior years of high school can feel like one last stop on that barreling train towards adulthood. Last week um, I visited a, um, a school in Florida. I know at the moment I'm fourth in my class. Did you feel the pressure to bring it? Yes, I did. Um, especially in my school, we don't have a huge class size, so it's very competitive. Standing out is difficult for students who all experience the same holdup on the tracks. The grit that they had to get through the pandemic. Michelle Katusi, executive director all for the Connecticut well, School Counselor Association, says COVID has more kids reconsidering the traditional four-year college yeah, you know, plan. I think it's a now they're saying, hey, maybe I'm going to step back and take advantage the, of the community colleges that we have in Connecticut. Or I love learning online. Let's look at some, some schools that will keep that hybrid model. And in the past, picking a future school meant coming to terms with how good you are at taking one test. But for some students, like that was the barrier before, that they could get all the other pieces in a row, have a beautiful essay, have a great high school transcript, and then their test scores were kind of holding them back. But more and more colleges and universities are making it so that those big junior year benchmark tests like the SAT and ACT aren't even needed to apply. So colleges are taking a more holistic view of students. College admissions professionals, though, warn against not submitting test scores if you're hoping for financial help along the way that could jeopardize your scholarships and your award offers. Especially if you struggle during remote learning. Junior year is the time to get your GPA back on track and your personal essay ready to go. The most important thing for students, if they can, is to show an escalation in grades. On, like how high is your interest level in this? Um, what classes did you take in high school that are related to this major? The future can feel like a fast moving train, but to keep the metaphor chugging, Juniors and seniors need to show schools why they're passionate about becoming the conductor of their own paths forward. I love to travel um, and I love to meet new people from around the world and I think turning that into a career is, you know, exactly what I want to do. Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.